Yeah, all of them. You're getting all of them. Yeah. Where? So don't get further than the key from your body. <laughs> you won't be able to. Alright, here's our, our LEDs not blinking yet. This is just for visibility test. Two colors here. It doesn't come out as good in the video. This one is very red to the eye and this one is very amber yellow to the eye, clear difference in color. Okay, that's a blinky light. Alright, you can turn. There's a trans transmit on his back, yeah. Very good. Two Arduinos. Two Arduinos. <laughs> This is the, we gotta take this guy too, receiver, right? Here's the blinky. Hang on, I'll just hang around here for a moment, watch it. So you just stay there like you are. What I just did is, uh, I was about uh, eight feet away from Matthew. Uh, Matthew was facing me, so his transmitter on his first stage was shielded by his body. And I just wanted to see if I still pick up the signal. And it worked just fine, worked reliably here. Yes. So what I'll do now is I'll go uh, about 25 feet.
fine. He's about, he's about 25 feet. Uh, completely regular blink. Oh, so you know. that's nice. So I guess, you, were you still facing me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that would have been then uh, the 25 feet and going through your body. So I, I, I think the signal is at 160 decibels. It's plenty strong enough and uh, yet it's not a whole lot of transmit power so the battery will last a long time for this. You could probably, like once we fine tune it, it might even be less power consumption? Uh, it's or possible, but you want to maintain a good margin of safety, you know. Yeah, okay. I think with this setting will still get uh, an endurance battery endurance of at least a hundred dives, I'm estimating. <laughs> nice. And so and it'll go. Really it'll just be, work well. That's yeah, what that is. I shouldn't be too much of a bird, you know. Okay. So. so.